a Liverpool FC legend is suggesting that Graham Potter should be the next manager of Liverpool Football Club, or certainly considered at least. I'm going to run this one by you to see what you think. Um, the former Chelsea manager has been you know, tipped or suggested uh, to be uh, Jurgen Klopp's successor at Liverpool. Uh, Bruce Grobelar um, has explained why Potter, who has been unemployed since leaving Chelsea last year, would be an ideal candidate to replace Jurgen Klopp. And uh, he was speaking to Virgin Media Sport, and he says, we were chatting amongst ourselves, the former players putting through some names and Xabi Alonso came up all the time. But if you have a look at which manager has actually produced youngsters from the academy into the first team and then them going on and selling them, and there is one man that comes to mind, and that's Graham Potter. When he was at Brighton, what he did there, he set up the whole Brighton situation and how Brighton are today. He's out of work now. He's been out of uh, work for a year. He could be one to look at because he uses the youngsters uh, as Jurgen Klopp has used the youngsters in the Liverpool side now. Uh, because of injury, he can have that same platform. Not a sexy name. I don't think many of you in the comments will be going, yeah, let's get Graham Potter in. Uh, but can you see any you know, merits for that? Any suggestions for Would you agree uh, agree with Brucey about that? You know, the kids and stuff like that and what he did at his previous clubs and, and whatnot. Can you, can you go down that route? Or not? What do you think? Should we have a look at the betting very quickly? Um... I say very quickly, it's not on my screen. Let's have a look, uh, Bet365. Um, you can use any company, of course, but I, I, I just use Bet365 because it's, it's the company that I use to, to have a bet with. And, you know, it, anyway, it's relevant. But once you, once you pick one to, to follow the odds, you, you need to stick with that, right? No point uh, jumping around. So, uh, Graham Potter, I would imagine he's about 16, 20s, no? 28. To one. Wow, so he's even further out than I thought he would be. Um, I, I, you can imagine fucking FSG doing something like that. Um, but that's you know, maybe we're just being too snotty and too snobby. Do you know what I mean? It's not, I don't know. I think, I think the fans need like some continuity with like the feel good, like Jurgen. I mean, you know, how do you replace you can't like. You know, Jurgen Klopp's been, been replaced and I think the fans do need to see some experience but then that contradicts me when I say we should get, uh, you know, Alonso. But Alonso is also a feel-good appointment but it's not about feeling good. This is a, a serious decision. You can't just appoint someone with your heart. You've got to appoint them with your mind and your intelligence, you know. But experienced managers can bomb inexperienced managers can succeed. Uh, I, I genuinely think Alonso's different. I, I think he's going to be um, a fantastic manager, as Brendan Rodgers, uh, who wasn't fantastic, uh, would say fantastic. Um, in fairness to, to Brendan, he did it right, but it's just like, I don't know. You know, at the time, we wanted fucking Jürgen then, didn't we? They've got to get it right. They've got to get this appointment right. They've got to get the sporting director uh, sorted out as well. Uh, just, you know, I don't know if you've watched any of the other videos today, but Alonso, 4-6, to six, Robert Roberto De Zerbi, 4-1, uh, Ruben Amarim, who was my choice, uh, you know, my bet, not my choice to be the... I didn't think he was going to be the next manager of Liverpool. Uh, you know, Alonso would be my preferred choice, I think. Um, but there are others that I would be happy with. And I was when I was, like, talking about, let's have a bet on it, you know, let's pick an outsider, uh, you know, someone that... That's a really, I don't know, you know, anyway, I went, I went, do you mind, Remy? I went for Amarim, and he was double the odds then. His odds have slashed down, so he's the third favourite with Bet365. Now the second favourite with uh, Skybet. A lot of money gone on Amarim for his odds to be slashed, or the bookies have heard something. Pep Linder's 10. Um, another notable one is Nagelsmann, I think. Um, I, I do think uh, you should look at him. Thomas Frank. Marco Rose, uh, Thomas, sorry, 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 sorry. Julian Nagelsmann, 14 to 1. Frank, 14 to 1. Marco Rose, 20 to 1. Uh, and the next one that I would like to mention to you, I'm skipping so many out to get to this, uh, is Hansi Flick at 40 to 1. Uh, 
All right. So uh, just a little update there on the betting odds. Let me know what you uh, what you think with regards Graham Potter. I mean, could you be tempted with that? Can you see any merit in it? Or are you like, no, you're all right. Thanks. Don't. No, you're all right. Okay. Um, if you appreciate the video, please thumbs up the video. Um, if you want to leave me a comment, please do that. And if you want to, uh, you know, you know, if you want me to get some bits, you know, some pork pies or sausages at the butchers tomorrow morning on on Dunk's meat video, uh, hit the uh, the love out button, the super thanks, and I'll give you a shout out tomorrow. All right, guys, let me know what you think about Grim Potter and Bruce Grubbler.